In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Contact Form 7 dropdown and everything you can do with it, including turning it into a multi select element. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more WordPress tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's head into the screen capture. I'll see you there. I'm currently in an editor for a basic contact form on the website. I got here by going to contact, then choosing this form to edit from the list I was presented. It's a really simple form as you can see. We're going to add some drop downs to this. So if I just click into here, click enter twice, then click on the drop down menu button right here. And now we have our drop down menu dialog box. We can make this required or not required. I'm going to give it a more descriptive name than we had there. I'm going to add some options here. And that's really all we need to build the drop down form. What I like to do is for the very first one, I like to have it say at the top, please select. So the reason I like to do this please select is if you choose the insert blank, it just put, it puts some dashes in there, which doesn't really give people an idea of what to do. Whereas please select implies they have to select something. So you usually click on that more often or, or it's more clear they should be clicking on that. But we'll look at what this looks like in a second anyway. And then we add an ID and a class if we want to, to make our CSS styling a little bit easier. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it this way. Click on insert tag. And we have the tag inserted. I'm gonna create another one of these. Same idea, drop down. I'm gonna call it drop down two. I'm gonna change the name of these so we can tell them apart. And I'm gonna make this one allow multiple selections. And we're still not gonna add this option here. But this will allow multiple, actually, I'm gonna delete this and do it this way. So we're gonna insert a blank, we're gonna allow multiple selections. You can add an ID in a class again if you want to. I'm not going to. I'm gonna click on insert tag. Then we're gonna save this and see how it looks on the form itself. This is the page of the form, I'm just gonna hit refresh. And now we see those two drop down. So we have please select here, which I find to be very descriptive as to what we should be doing. We can pick one of them using this drop down format. The other format we have, we can select multiple. So we can select apples and oranges and then scroll and see pears. And it has up here, this first one, which is the blank, just those three dashes. Not really informative. We don't want that. We can just delete this include blank statement here. Click on save, refresh the page over here. And now we have those dashes gone. We can multi-select by holding down control or command and do whatever we want there. The last thing we wanna do, if we're happy with this dropdown format, we wanna make sure we add the dropdown variables to our email tab by clicking on email. And we see we have dropdown two or one and two added up here. And they're not currently in our email down here. So we could just have, I'm gonna call this animal dropdown or animal selection and fruit selection. Then it's gonna copy drop down one and drop down two and then save this. And now our email is gonna contain the information people select from those drop downs. So that's all there is to drop downs and contact form seven. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below the video. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And next up is clicking one of these videos on the right hand side so you can learn even more about WordPress and get even better at it. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.